Hey, it's the Empire. Geoboxing Empire. Back to boxing. Now, nah, man, Deontay Wilder, man, speaks out about the Tyson Fury fight, man. And he talks about the injury he suffered during his fight with Tyson Fury. Now, Deontay Wilder has uh, finally basically started coming out talking again. And the first real interview he really got was from PBC. They have a PBC podcast, right? And Deontay Wilder talked about during the fight how he suffered a bicep injury. Now, if you watch boxing, you know anything about boxing, man. Deontay Wilder is prone to injury. If you guys don't remember, watch the Chris Ariola fight. In the middle of the fight, while he was beating up Chris Ariola, his bicep popped in the middle of the fight. You know, it was disgusting. This guy's arm popped right in the middle of the fight. And, and that was the fight he was winning, right? He suffered an injury in that fight. Um, another fight is the first fight with Bermain Stavern. You watched him mid-fight break his right hand. You know, so Deontay Wilder is prone to injury in the uh, in these fights. And it's wild because when um, Deontay Wilder hurt his hand in the Bermain Stavern fight, you wouldn't know his hand was hurt unless, you know, he told you. But he actually broke his hand in that um, Bermain Stavern fight. Uh, so, you know, uh, Deontay Wilder, man, is prone to injury. Um, he's been injured more than one time in the ring. And this is another time he was injured in the fight. So this is a really big deal, man. Um, it basically proves the fact that, you know, Deontay Wilder said, or he just, you know, he didn't look himself. And Deontay Wilder talked about how he looked like a zombie in the fight. And it was for a reason. He was injured. Um, even Tyson Fury came out and said that, you know, that wasn't the best Deontay Wilder I fight. I fought and you know that was one of the easiest fights I fought in my career it's facts so that being said man um you know you know Tyson Fury he says one thing one day and another thing another um Tyson Fury did say that was the easiest fight his career and that was in Deontay Wilder and then when Deontay Wilder agrees with him say yeah that wasn't me I was injured you know Tyson Fury com comes out and says some other stuff you, you know Tyson Fury so you know by one second he's saying Deontay Wilder didn't look good and you know that wasn't the best Deontay Wilder and Deontay Wilder says yeah I was injured you know, Tyson Fury said that was rubbish. You're a dosser. <laughs> that was the best you, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, because, you know, Tyson Fury said, but he's basically going to do it again. And he don't know why he came back for a third fight. But little does he know that wasn't the best Deontay Wilder because he was injured. So, you know, uh, I'm not, I think, I'm, me personally, man, I think Tyson Fury is taking Deontay Wilder. Uh, I think he's not taking him seriously, man. Um, I, that third fight, you know, can get to you. You know, when you start walking through opponents, um, it makes it makes it um, it makes you not you know motivated, you know. And, and Tyson Fury, you know, the fact that he said that was the easiest fight of his career, he don't seem like he's too worried about Deontay Wilder. He don't seem like he's too worried about Deontay Wilder, man. He's doing his thing with his kids. He's relaxing right now. The guy's working out with his wife. I'm not too sure how much you can get out of that, but he's he's staying in shape, you know, doing sit ups with his wife. I see him working out uh, on Twitter with his wife, and then uh, I guess he's having some challenge with Joseph Parker and his wife, and they're both working out together. So, you know, he's doing some like group workout yoga shit. And um, yeah, I might make it <laughs> I might make a video about that. But yeah, man, I mean, he's having some group, you know, video yoga with my boy JP, man, Joseph Parker over there in New Zealand. So, you know, that that's what Tyson Fury is up to these days. But yeah, man, this is a really big deal, man. It reveals a lot. Um, Deontay, where I talked about uh, strengthening par certain parts of his body. Uh, Thanks to my boy, big country, George Foreman, you know, the legend, the all time great Lord George Foreman who fought Muhammad Ali and the Rumble in the Jungle, you know, um, so that's a really big deal because George Foreman is a big boy. And if you guys didn't know when he retired, the guy, like, oh, he like had a farm for a little bit. So, you know, George Foreman is, he has that Southern build to him, you know what I mean? He has that build that builds nations, you know what I mean? If you know what I mean, you know, he's from the South, you know, he can farm. You dig? So that being said, man, you know, it's sort of a blessing in disguise that Deontay Wilder really can't work his upper body too much. And the arm that's injured is his right arm. So that means if he's going to do any kind of boxing or any kind of strength and conditioning, it's most likely going to be his legs and his left arm. Things that he really needs to work on because his right arm is messed up. So that means he's going to have to really just focus on one arm, which, which should make him a much better boxer. So this is actually a good thing, man. Um, his all right arms are probably overdeveloped and he needs to strengthen other parts of his game right um like i said earlier he really can't do too many upper body workouts with just one arm you know and if, if anything his left arm is just gonna get stronger and his legs are gonna get stronger right you can only work your one arm out so much <laughs> eventually you're gonna have to start working your legs out 
So this is a good thing for Deontay Wilder, man. He's going to come back stronger. He's going to come back uh, more prepared. And, you know, ho uh, his therapy, awfully, hopefully, it goes really well, you know. Um, like I said, he has injured, he, he injured himself more than once. And hopefully his therapy this time is the state of the art. Uh, with everything going on lockdown, I don't see why he couldn't, you know, really take a chill pill and get that arm where it needs to be. Uh, this fight has been delayed so far back. You know, people are talking about this being at later in the year, like in November or even beginning of next year. So we're, we're going to see how this whole thing unfolds, man. I mean, it's going to be, such, it, you know, it could be such a big, you know, in break in between. They might let a fight happen in between. We don't know what's going to happen yet, but I'm pretty sure they, they probably just can go straight into the fight. It's going to be wild stuff, though, man. Uh, these fires are going to be well rested and, and plenty of times going to go by. So there should be no excuses for this next fight. The fight's not going to happen really soon. I thought July was a little too soon for this rematch to happen. But this fight's happening like, you know, September, November or early next year. You know, that's plenty of time for these fires to really, you know, uh, basically change their game up and do whatever they need to do to become the best they need to be. So let me know how you guys feel about Deontay Wilder, man. I'll link in the description, man. It was uh, at premierboxingchampions.com. They got their own podcast. It's on there, man. Let me know how you guys feel about it, though. Like, comment, subscribe. It's the Empire. Geoboxing Empire. Peace.